Hi and welcome to another episode of PeaceMeg TV. In today's Reaper tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how we can use the track control panel and how we can take effects that we've got on any particular track and put some of those parameters on the individual track itself so we can control those without having to load up the effects. We're also going to take a quick look at how we can assign that to a control interface and control it via MIDI. So if we're working with a control interface with sliders or with knobs and dials and things like that, we can assign that and we can tweak it much easier than using the mouse on each one of these. So let's take a look at how this all works. So I'm going to use this guitar track as an example. I'm just going to expand it. And as you can see, we've got a couple of effects already applied to this. We've got an EQ and we've got a reference of uh, an instance of Easy Mix on there. So if I click and open that up, you can see there are my two effects. So I'm going to stick with the Easy Mix one to start off with because I'm going to have the ability to control both the gain, the EQ, and we can look at the input and output. Any of these things can be assigned to the individual track. So if we take a look at the effects browser, or the effects window, you can see we've got the param button on the right hand side. Now what that allows us to do is assign parameters to the actual track itself. So we can control those parameters without having to come back into this interface every time we want to tweak those. So if we click and expand the parameters option, you can see we've got quite a few different options available to us in there. And the one we're going to look at is show in track controls. Actually, I tell a light, we're going to come down to the effects parameter list and say show in track controls. And what that does is that shows us all of the parameters that we can assign to this individual track in this specific effects. So you can see you've got shape one, shape two, output, input, bypass, and wet. So what they refer to is shape one would be the gain in this instance, shape two would be the EQ, your input, your output, and uh, your bypass and, and wet, as their name suggests, you can bypass the effect or you can mix the dry and wet signals together. So we're gonna say, well, we wanna control the gain and the EQ. So if I click on shape, you can see now over in our track on the left hand side, we now have a new control dial in there. We can do the same again, so we can come up to param, we can come down to effect parameter list, show in track controls, so we can say shape two. As you can see, we can keep on doing this and adding additional um, parameters into this specific control block. But for now, we'll leave it as it is. We've got our parameters in there. Now, the one thing that I haven't been able to find out to do, and I, I please, I will stand corrected if someone can tell me how to do this in the comment section below, is I can't rename these individual values. So where we're using something like Easy Mix, which is given a shape one and shape two, which is not the, the most intuitive of names, you know, gain and EQ would be much better. The ability to rename those would be a godsend. So if you can do it, please leave a little comment in the comment section below. If not, Kogos, come on, add that effect, that ability in there. Anyway, so we've got those parameters in there. So if I take the mouse over and I just adjust those, you can see if we look at the interface over on the right hand side, as I adjust the control dials on my track, so it changes in the interface. That's great, you can use your mouse on there. But if you've got a, work, a control surface, then it's much more intuitive and easier and in effect smoother to assign these different parameters to the different control knobs. So what you can do is you can come over to any of these and right click and you can say learn the VST. So you can see I've got this little MIDI OSC learn. So if I just adjust the particular control parameter I want to use, that will then learn that function. I can say OK. And now if we take a look over on the left hand side, as I move that, you can see it now changes. And the same over on the gain on the actual Easy Mix instance, you can see that's controlling that particular gain dial. And I can do the same again, I can just right click, say learn VST, use a different control, and you can see that comes up with a different control. Okay, now I can control that one independently and that one independently through my control surface. So very, very easy. And what I think you'll find is if you've got uh, complicated tracks with multiple effects on them, you may wanna come in and tweak these and having them the ability to put there on their own track just makes the whole process a lot easier than continually opening windows back up, selecting the VST that you want to edit, editing the effects, going back out, blah, 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 you know, ad infinitum. Anyway, I hope you found that useful. I hope you find it something you can add into your tracks and it'll speed up your workflow. If you have found it useful, please hit the subscribe button below to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps. 
If you've got any comments, suggestions, or feedback on anything covered in this video, or anything you'd like to see covered in future videos, again, please put that in the comment section below, and we'll take a look at creating videos for you in the future, and try to answer any questions you may have. Until next time, happy mixing.